Oh, my bad. Oh, that thing? Uh, go to the file explorer. Where? File explorer. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're Just good. Just reset the scores. Okay. Nice. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Um, Sweet. this is like one of the classics, I think. MG this is, Mar. This is like one of, I think, the cooler rivalries. Because it's like, this is one where, like, really, I cannot tell you who is going to win on the given day before watching it, you know? And yeah, even then, enough. sometimes one of them will 3 0 the other one, and then they'll get 3 0'd back in losers. Like, <laughs> yeah. also, I feel like Marth Fox is like a classic melee matchup, yeah. too. Holy shit. I That's think it's like the most one of the most fun matchups to watch because it feels like both characters like their strengths are really different in a lot of ways. So like it's good to see them use them on each other. Man, yeah. people need to learn how to edge guard Marth in this region, bro. It's not easy. I just well I am privileged because I just go out and hit him. But like the same principle can apply. <laughs> yeah. you it's just, a little like, easier as buff and buff. You just wait. Yeah, like, I can't refresh the ledge super easily. That's, like, something that Fox players, for instance, have over me. And I don't have any but Cindy Downey. But it's still high risk to do, though. Not if you're Cody Schwab and you know, have the flow chart. Right. So if you're the best player in the world yeah. as of 2023. Hey, no one does the fucking Mar <laughs> Marth Killer 2.0 bullshit. No one just, like, ju no, light shields so, and then no, jumps no, people, out and shines. People do that. Very few people do. I, true. You're right. I watch other people, like, like Mike plays like a guessing game, it feels like. He's like, oh, I really hope Jacob does the exact recovery <laughs> that I'm planning to cover. Um, but he's so good in like every other part of the game that it's like really, really hard for, even if Jacob makes it back a lot, it's like really hard for him to win anyway. Yeah, like, the problem is that, um, like what the fuck? The edge guarding is so important in this matchup on both sides. Uh, so oh. playing 50-50s on it is actually makes it really swingy mm -hmm. whenever you're playing against somebody. Oh, that's, that's gonna it. be a down air. Yeah. God damn, that was quick. That's yeah. exactly what he needed. Jacob looking for that grab in the corner. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, that was crazy, because I think Mike was just surprised he made it out alive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was, like, kind of panicking a little bit. Mike also there was holding in in hopes to reversal. Oh, oh, oh he actually that covered was clean. that shit. Yeah, oh, Mike fuck. was holding in really hard there, hoping to reversal off, like, ASCI down or something. Yeah, but yeah. Jacob did like a really good job of not letting him touch the ground. He like down tilted to pop him back up, which is crazy. Yeah, in that's box. like some Roy shit. Yeah, that's like really, really smart. Mm. No, don't kill him for that. All right, we're good. He really went for reverse up tilt on that. Damn. Yeah, it gets you probably like the most reward there. I mean, if you get the sour spot, it just sends a back off stage at like an awkward angle. Yeah, you know, that's true. So. And even if you get the sweet spot, you get like a platform tech chase. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Arts, he's, he's Arts not up tilt is truly a bullshit ass move. Yeah, I one time tweeted something that's like, it's crazy that like you can't buy mushrooms, but Marth's up tilt is legal. <laughs> I like that. That's yeah, I agree. So, uh, Mike, I think could do. He kind of picked on it, up on it immediately there. But Jacob's shielding a lot in the corner, so it's like, and it's pretty good EV for Marth. Oh, but baby. you know, that was like a perfect example right there of Mike playing a 50-50 edge guard, mm -hmm. where he his jump out timing is just like, all right, I hope that he double jumps around now. You See, know? like Marth. Marth's side B is literally reactable. Like, if he's side B's there, you can just kill him every time. It's got a lot of end lag, yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're Fox and you can shine his head. Like, if you're if you're Falcon or whatever, like, fair enough. That's kind of hard for him. Like, he has to go and commit with a back air or something. But Fox yeah. can shine his head and then double jump away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Triple back air. That's oh, the one. Oh, 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 that was fucking nasty. And he just he Damn. just needed to roll up. Oh. Uh, it's tough though. Mm -hmm. It's I, tough though because I feel like that was at the distance where Marth could conceivably get mm -hmm. the like up B that goes more into stage and like land on stage. Yeah. Um, so get I like get up shine actually a lot, but Jacob just faced it really well. Shine bear. Uh, Dude, this just, radio head is really clashing with this yeah, yeah. set right now. <laughs> you know, this is like high octane, and then, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, Karma Police going off in the background. It's actually fucking Marth killing killer. me. Literally just Marth Killer there. It, like, Jacob could have made it back. People don't Marth Killer enough. 
That's something I've been trying to incorporate. Like as it's Puff crazy even. that Puff can fucking Marth Killer. Yeah, you have to hit the fast fall. Oh, uh, you have the fast fall Marth yeah, Killer. Yeah, Puff? yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because she falls slower than Marth. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was. That's why I was like, that's nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to fast fall uh, for like some of the timings. Yeah, shine li near the ledge there is so bad EV. I like, love the way that anything. Jacob got out of the corner there. Yeah. Short wave land and then jumps over the Nairn's corner. Jacob scouted out that wake up really well. Oh, hey. how's Mike going to get down? Oh. Yeah. Oh. See, like, really? He overcomplicates it. I mean, it was great. Um, It's hard to hold out right there on those jabs. And Jacob held out. Yeah, this is oh, Mike likes to, to jump a lot, and this is like the percent where. No! Oh, oh, why did you no. go for? Dude, I thought he was gonna shine again. All you had to do was do a second uh, shine. But even then, it's like maybe you get clipped. Oh. Like I think but he, he should have double jump. I think he should have just uh, taken position back on stage. Honestly, like because the shine's yeah. so risky. It's only up for a frame, and what if Mar doesn't di that way? You know? I think go for the second shine for him. Yeah. So because you're right above the Marth, and the Marth just side beat below you. Mm. Like I feel mm. like you just fall second shine in that hits. Yeah, maybe you could fast fall there, and it would be yeah, really consistent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's tough to say in a situation like that because it's not like a set play kind of thing. It's mm -hmm. completely it's, it's off stage scrambling, <laughs> which is always a fucking complete 50 50, even if when it's not. Now we got fucking oh, uh, Iris playing on the on the speakers, which is another. <laughs> Dude, this, this is playing to Mike, when, like when Mike watches the set back home. When later. I was playing on stream earlier, it was all bangers. And now they're That's not necessarily tough. not bangers, but they're not like uh, high energy. It's extremely slow motion. It seems that uh, Jacob's doing a really good job of using like the threat of um, getting reversaled in the corner um, as like a good way to uh, kind of stifle Mark Mike's normally oppressive pressure. Like the Mike is really good at just like making you panic, but Jacob's just holding shield and Mike is not beating it. Yeah. That's yeah, that's gonna, gonna kill. KO. Very nice. That was a really tight conversion. Dude, I fucking love watching Michael Gracie play. Yeah, I think he's the coolest he's player so we have for sure. so fun to watch, man. No, Goose Khan's cooler. Uh, I, Goose he, Khan. Goose Khan. I, I love the guy. He definitely, uh, <laughs> he definitely. we have some sets. Usman's sick. Yeah, I do. I think so, too. Uh, sad he's not here today. Yeah, I'm sure he's got some shit. Yeah, yeah he's a busy guy. See, like... Okay, go like that. But dude, Mike is number two, and I always put Curtis at zero on the list. Yeah, Curtis is Curtis. Oh, uh, he tried dude, to be tricky with it. Yeah. Dude, there's a set from Big House Three where Kells is playing against Pikachu Chat, I want to say, and yep. he hits, I think, two mid shortens to edge cancel on Randall and recover. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's just fucking insane. Somebody go watch that, or put it on your watch later. I always think of that when I see people try to side beat a Randall. Something I will say is like it feels like Mike is trying to slow it down a little bit, but I think slowing it down actually looks really bad on Mike. Like I think one of the reasons why he's such a strong player is because of the pressure I was talking about yeah. earlier, and slowing it down is just not strong for him. Yeah, I can see that.